All right, yesterday when I started, it smoked really bad, but it had been sitting for months and it was a cold start in the morning. So we'll see if it does that today. Um, but I just think a lot of that smoke had to do with how long it had been sitting, but we'll see. So many of you know, I've talked about it many times, that that's a wrap on this car. So it is actually orange. Uh, you can see the interior is orange. Uh, it's just a vinyl wrap that's on there and it's time to come off. It's been on for, well, I've owned the car for more than five years, but you can see how it's bubbling off of there. Yesterday there was ice under the hood because it was catching water up on the front or the front. <laughs> um, this totally peeled off back here. I see the paint has come off with it though. See the paint? I see primer under it. <laughs> so this is definitely primer there. The orange paint is stuck to the, the wrap. So we'll see how much of the car stays orange once I peel that off. I think a lot of paint's gonna come with it. It's gonna look absolutely terrible. Kelly's gonna be not be happy about that. Uh, but it's just, it's peeling off everywhere. So it's time. I got a heat gun around here somewhere. If I'm going to need it or not, I don't know. I'm going to hope it comes off pretty easy. But it's been on there for so many years and it's been stored outside for the last couple years. But you can see it's all just peeled off, cracking, broken, ripped, torn, and so on. I can tell there is some paint damage underneath. This paint is all crinkly under there that's not the wrap that's like chipped paint off of there or something here again I can see that the paint has come off that's primer the orange is stuck to the wrap so we're gonna have a gray car <laughs> probably won't be that fun of a job so just my initial inspection when I peel this off for sure the back of the car <laughs> it's gonna be gray the front I think it's going to be more of the paint's going to stick, but the car needs to be painted. Kelly wants to paint it this kind of a color and paint the inside and everything too. So it'll be a whole, the whole deal when it's done. Should I start with the, the front, the front trunk? Oh, I don't want to do it, but I don't want all that water. Yesterday there was water underneath here and ice and it had built up and it was all raised up and it was crunchy and. I can't have water just sitting on it like that. That's not going to be good. Considering how long ago they did it, I think it really held up well. You know, they tucked the corners tight and everything here. These are all individual pieces. There's one. Oh, I see paint coming off there too. And that's where that paint's all crinkly. So that's going to be great too. It's gonna look terrible. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll be surprised if 50% of the paint stays on, but we're about ready to find out how much paint comes off with the wrap and how much primer is gonna show. <laughs> Cause I see the paint is already stuck to the wrap. It's been on there for more than five years and uh, I don't, they're not really designed to be on there that long, I don't think. Plus it's been outside a lot. So, full on committed now. <laughs> that's all paint <laughs> what's funny is it smells like paint it smells like wet paint it's what that it smells like it just got painted on it that's so weird
<laughs> it's going to look terrible. <laughs> going to be artistic. <laughs> oh my god. It definitely was not painted well. Something between the between the primer and the paint, they didn't wet sand it or something. It feels uh Look, there's water under the paint. More water under the paint. So the paint has been off, stuck to that vinyl for a while. See how it's where it's bowled up here. That's where all the ice was at yesterday. So what did I say earlier? Did I think 50% of the paint was gonna stay? So now I'm changing my estimates <laughs> to 20% of the paint. <laughs> and that might be a high estimate. It's nothing I'm doing here in my technique because it is already off. Sure this video is gonna get edited down a lot, but it's terrible surface. That's why the paint didn't stick to it. The prep work on it was just not done right. Shame, it looked like it had a nice finish on it. Look, they painted, there's not even. Paint or primer on the metal. It's actually coming off easier than I thought it was going to. It may look difficult on the video, but it's not. It's fracturing weird. It's doing these little jagged edges. That might be a pain in the butt. There's no sticky residue left. That was something I was kind of worried about. <laughs> How to make your car look like shit. <laughs> like the prep work they did on the primer is atrocious. Oh, 
Oh yeah. yeah. And like, I mean, here's bare metal that got painted over. Yeah. No wonder they wrapped it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Try heat gun it all yet? No, I have. I don't know where it's at. I gotta find it. I, I looked for where I thought it was. I may have actually left it at home when I cleaned off a bunch of things to save weight on my bus. But I think it's. I mean, it's. There's nothing I can do about that. You can just see how shitty. Yeah. Well, it's just it would make it come off more and. Big One sections? Piece, yeah. It's actually easier than I thought it was going to be so far. Kelly got a herder? Oh, yeah, but if I use that out here, I'd be dead. Uh. <laughs> She's got an expensive uh. Dyson hairdryer. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even know they made them. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Look at that. See how easy it comes off? Bada boom. <laughs> Which actually, primer is coming off with it, so that's a bad job in between layers of primer that they did. Yeah. Because it's not actually not the paint against the primer thing. Hmm. I do have some plastic razor blades. We'll see if this makes it any. I, I could use a regular razor blade. I'm not worried about damaging the paint, but oh yeah, that's a little, might be a little easier. One thing that does is leave the sticky residue though. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. I barely get through here with the Jeep, right? <laughs> sure, we took out about 100 trees. <laughs> I don't want these plastic ones, but it was just kind of leaving the sticky residue. I hadn't left any sticky residue anywhere, and then when I started using this blade, then I got sticky. Oh, yeah. I should probably use it to start it like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I was saying. Prepared if I'd have known I, I didn't even know I was doing it until yeah, yesterday. No. It looks, it's gonna look so terrible, but maybe it's gonna look so terrible that it's gonna be awesome. There you go. <laughs> that sounds like a good. <laughs> Is there any chance of that? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going. I will go with that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Probably the more paint that comes off, the better it'll be in the long run, though. Right. Because <laughs> it's all got to come off. Yeah, they got 30 of those holders in the shop, plus some bigger ones. A couple hundred of plastic razor blades, a bunch of regular ones. It's got to be kind of a breath of fresh air not having to deal with nature way <laughs> for you. <laughs> kind of have one though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm married to the HOA. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a lot of rules. <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> In case she watches this one. The fines are a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I better stop. <laughs> gonna have a not safe for work video. <laughs> she knows I'm teasing. <laughs> there's a hole in there. Yeah, there's little uh they probably windshield tie downs or something. Somewhere there's I don't know if that's where that one goes. But that little rubber mount on the top up there, when that holds down, there's a clip that it goes into, but I think that's too far away. Maybe that is it. Similar to the Jeep one, but popped in there. Look at that. <laughs> As I just rip it. <laughs> Leave a big chunk. Working here, 
of this door and I can see that the paint was already off. This is the sticky part of the vinyl wrap. So the paint was already off of here when they put the wrap on. So it was already, the wrap was on the time with it. So no matter how careful I would have went, it would have looked like crap anyway. pretty hard on it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's bare metal there. To be fair, they told me the paint was crappy underneath. They just didn't quite describe it <laughs> as missing. <laughs> I don't think the heat gun is going to matter much with this one, the way it's taking no. the paint off with it. So, what are we, about an hour into it right now? I'm not sure why I keep leaving that bag up there. <laughs> I'm not peeling off any more stuff up there. Right. Habits. This, this fender back here had virtually no paint on it when the wrap went on. It's just peeling off of the primer. I wonder if they started to prep it to repaint it or something. And it started coming off. And, and then just said, hey, you know, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's just wrap it. <laughs> um, 
Probably not because that marketing company, they do a lot of vehicle wraps for all their projects and stuff. prime example of the reasoning to get this off. So the back half was easier than the front half, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Almost all of the paint came off <laughs> with it in the back. Wow. Hand sore? Oh yeah. I'm peeling and tugging on my thing all day. <laughs> <laughs> you had to go there. I'm pulling and tugging on my thing all day. Your hands are sore. <laughs> How many times have you said that? <laughs> Feel sorry for your thing. <laughs> Right. 
We're on the home stretch. When we were two hours into it, I thought, oh, it's going to be a four hour job maybe. But now it looks like it's going to be a three hour job. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if we got better or I think it got easier. I didn't get any better. I'm using the same techniques I've used. <laughs> Just rip it. <laughs> See that little piece, slacker? I'm a little slacker right there. Yeah, I was going to say, you got a little <laughs> bit. Of, that, was, that was my struggle spot. This kind of stuff here is exactly why I wanted to get that wrap off of there. Because this car has no rust on it. Well, now it has almost no rust on it. But it has rust on it now. And that wrap was just trapping the water in here in places like this. And that was just going to get worse. And, you know, I've got a good solid car. It's not all bonded up or anything. So, just needed to get that off. It's like that on both sides in that area. That kind of body line right there is kind of just a little bit. There's actually some bubbles there. That's the worst rust on the whole car right there. And as we peeled the wrap off, especially the more we got towards the back, there was no paint on it when they put the wrap on. Trying to decide if I like it or not. <laughs> Telling you, orange camo. It's just a splash of color. 